All right, let's look at how to build some choreography data uh, using MIDI. Um, we're going to build this so that it'll work with the uh, rhythm game demo. So the first thing we'll do is install that. Um, you can see here before we get into that, um, that I have already included the uh, an audio track and several MIDI tracks uh, or MIDI files. Um, I guess that's an audio clip and, and MIDI files. Uh, okay, so we'll find the MIDI or the rhythm game demo under choreographer demos. It's installed as a package, so you just double click this and it will install all of this stuff. And we will be able to see that it indeed installs uh, right here, the rhythm game demo. Um, and we'll find that under uh scenes rhythm game here we go so this is what it looks like you may note that you may have to go up here to in the game scene if, typically it'll probably show up here normally in the scene tab but if you go to the game tab um you may have to go in and it, it may be set to something like 16 by 10 or 16 by 9. you may need to go in and set this to a custom ratio uh i've created one called labeled iphone with a resolution of nine by 16 to approximate, you know, um, mobile phones and devices. Uh, anyway, this is what that looks like. And here's all the, the systems. Okay, let's get to actually creating some choreography data. Since we have the MIDI files already, let's go back down and see what that looks like. Um, all we need to do is uh, create some choreography data using the MIDI file, so we get the tempo, and then create uh, a choreography track inside of that choreography data, one for each of these these MIDI tracks. Um, so what we'll do is uh, I open this with the shortcut, which is right here. It's on Mac, Option Shift K. Uh, on Windows, it should be Alt Shift K. Uh, anyway, the to get started, we'll open up a MIDI file. Um, for this one, we're going to select Drums MIDI. And we'll add the audio clip, which we know is Indian Rain. These are the ones that come by default with Choreographer. Uh, and then up here, the section name, we could leave this section. I'm just going to call it main. This is to name the section for the, the tempo. Um, and then we'll export that choreography data. And we're going to do that into a folder, which I've already prepared, called Choreography. Um, we'll call this one MIDI uh, example choreo asset save great so now that we have that choreography we can start importing uh, or converting choreo or MIDI data into choreography tracks and export those into the choreography so the way this is going to work is uh, we'll go in here example MIDI choreo and uh, go into channels turn this on since we're going to target this MIDI import for the um, MIDI uh, for the rhythm game demo. Uh, we need to do, first of all, we need to select this channel. Um, we need to so leave it as one off and then set the output payload to note and leave it as the payload options as text. Uh, with the text, you'll lose specifically what key um, is being pressed. If it was, say, a piano, um, are you really bassy or, or uh, really high pitched? The, the, the specific key is going to get lost. It's just going to get converted to a, a name. Um, that's maintained here if um, you use raw data, but the way the demo works, it just uses the, the names. So um, anyway, we're going to set everything up like this. For the event ID, I'm going to call this one drums because it says uh, the drums MIDI there, the file. So I'm going to say this is drums. I'm going to export the new track. It's going to say, okay, what choreography track asset do you want to create this as? I'm going to say this is the MIDI drums track. Save. And now it's done. That's already created and added. Uh, before we go and open this up in the choreography editor, uh, I'm going to go through and very quickly create um, the other two based on the, the tracks, the, the music that we have. So we've done drums. Let's look at guitar. We'll go back in here, select the uh, channel as text, notes as text. We're going to call it guitar. You'll notice that this button now changed to export new track. Boom. And 
MIDI guitar track. Great. All right, the last one is going to be the theme. Theme one dot MIDI. Uh, and we're going to do this guy here, select him, note as text. And we're going to call this theme. Export new track. Choreography is going to be MIDI theme track. Save. Great. That's it for the MIDI converter. We're done. Um, now we can take a look at it in the uh, choreography editor. We'll open that up and then open up the MIDI example choreo that we have. And we'll see here that this is the drums track and it's got all of the choreography uh, events listed up. If you hit A, you can see that those are all of the, the notes that are, are hit. Um, and that is useful for the rhythm game demo. Uh, we have the guitar as well, and just for sanity's sake, we'll check the theme. All looks good, perfect. Uh, great, so uh, up next, we will uh, close this guy out and adjust the rhythm game to play it. If we played it right now, it would play with the default setup, but that's not what we wanna do. The first thing we need to do is come in here in the music playback and change the rhythm game choreo hit space the other option here you can hit enter double click but basically you can come in here and click this button open up the selector i'm going to pick the midi example choreo boop, which is the one we just created all right perfect now i'm going to go into the gameplay controller and tell it what event id now this is effectively what track if you remember i added drums um, guitar and theme to uh to the thing i'm going to hit r just to refresh the system and you'll see here we have drums, guitar, and theme. What this is saying is these are all of the, of, across all of the choreography tracks in the project, these are the available ones. Um, this doesn't, this field doesn't have any clue as to what, meta, or which choreography is loaded. So it'll just hook up to whatever. We want to test out the uh, drums. So we'll click on drums. And now this is set to go. So we'll see what happens when I hit play. Now I'm hitting the buttons right now, but it's really hard because there's a lot of notes. Oops, I didn't, didn't even have my finger on the F key. Now what's fun is that I can play with this and turn up the speed and slow it down. That'll become kind of uh, important later, but anyway. Um, We've got drums, and we'll now check guitar. Hit play here. Okay, great, that's coming through. And again, lots of notes, it's tough to do this. This is like hard mode. Anyway, uh, that's good, that works. Let's go and check out the theme. Okay, play. This one feels like it's closest to the, to the melody for this song. Okay, so anyway, they don't have to watch me play through that whole thing. Um, that's basically it. The one last thing I will mention is that what's fun with this drums one is that when you play with the pitch, you can actually start to tell the difference between the notes if you slow it way down. Uh, and well, let's speed it up so that we can get a little bit farther into this, this song. And if we slow it down, I was able to find in testing that like the different percussive instruments came through on different notes, if that makes sense. So they get the shaker on the J key, 
and another two different types of drums and the uh, different buttons. It's just how the, the MIDI data works, it's how it maps, but it was an interesting little thing. Um, it's hard to hear at full normal playback speed. When you slow it down, you can hear it. It's fun. Okay, that should be about it. That shows you how to, to import, build, uh, the import the MIDI, convert it to choreography, and test it. Okay, hope this is helpful.